Her face is exceptional and she passes by numerous names, La Katrina, La Flaca, La Husuda, La Polona, Fancy Lady, Skinny, Bony, Baldy. An apparatus in Mexican culture, she's not some stylish design model, yet La Merte, death. Prestigious essayist Octavio Paz sees that, steadfast by death, the Mexican has no misgivings about getting very close with death, taking note of that he, chases after it, ridicules it, courts it, embraces it, lays down with it, it is his preferred toy and his most enduring affection. November 1st, All Saints Day, and November 2nd, All Souls Day are set apart all through Mexico by a plenty of charming traditions that shift generally as indicated by the ethnic foundations of every district. Regular to all, in any case, are beautiful enhancements and enthusiastic reunions at family internment plots, the readiness of unique nourishments, contributions spread out for the withdrew on dedicatory special raised areas and religious rituals that are probably going to incorporate boisterous firecrackers. In many regions November 1st is saved for recognition of perished newborn children and kids, frequently alluded to as Angelitos' little holy messengers. The individuals who have passed on as grown-ups are respected November 2nd. From mid-October through the primary seven-day stretch of November, markets and shops all over Mexico are loaded with the exceptional accessories for the Dia de Muertos Day of the Dead. These incorporate all way of skeletons and other grim toys, mind-boggling tissue paper patterns called papel picado, expand wreaths and crosses finished with paper or silk blooms, candles and votive lights, and crisp regular blossoms, particularly sempazachiles, marigolds, and barro de obispo, coxcomb. Among the palatable treats offered are skulls, pine boxes and so forth produced using sugar, chocolate or amaranth seeds and uncommon heated merchandise, eminently sugary sweet moves called dish de muerto that come in different sizes constantly bested with bits of mixture formed like bones and, in certain locales, unadorned dull bread shaped into humanoid figures called animus spirits. These products are bound for the purchaser's ofrenda de muertos offering to the dead. At home individuals from the family may utilize the buys to expand a special raised area out of appreciation for perished relatives, enhancing it with papel picado, candles, blossoms, photos of the left, treat skulls recorded with the name of the expired, and a choice of their preferred nourishments and refreshments. The last frequently incorporate jugs of lager or tequila, cups of atole, corn slop, or espresso, and new water, just as platters of rice, beans, chicken or meat in mole sauce, candy-coated pumpkin or sweet potatoes and the previously mentioned breads. The spirits of the dead are relied upon to pay an occasional visit home and ought to be given a luring repast and satisfactory sustenance for the adventure. Much of the time a wash bowl and clean hand towel are given with the goal that meeting spirits can spruce up before the banquet. The offering may likewise incorporate a pack of cigarettes for the after-supper delight in previous smokers or a choice of toys and additional desserts for kids. In setting up the special stepped area, an assigned region of the house is cleared of its typical decorations. The plan regularly comprises of a table and a few toppled wooden boxes set in levels and secured with clean linens. The contributions are then spread out in an imaginative and genuinely balanced design. The smell of consuming copal incense, and the light of various candles are planned to help the withdrew discover their direction. In the interim, at the family internment plot in the nearby burial ground, relatives tidy up each gravesite. In provincial towns, this may involve chopping down weeds that have grown up during the blustery season, just as giving tombs a crisp layer of paint in the wake of making any required basic fixes. The graves are then finished by neighborhood custom. The tomb might be essentially enhanced by a cross shaped of marigold petals or intricately decorated with brilliant crowns, wreaths, and new or counterfeit decorative designs. In numerous regions, youngsters' graves are decorated with splendidly shaded paper streamers or other merry embellishments. Check out part 2 coming soon. Remember to subscribe check out Shop Sugar Shell for your Day of the Dead inspired merchandise.